pretty flat day down here at the moment. Not a lot of wind, a little tiny bit of a breeze. Hopefully it doesn't rain. It's a bit dodgy, but anyway, we'll um, we'll get the shark plugged in and and, uh, and going. For those who aren't aware, the battery just inserts from the back, a little bit like Splash Drone 4. And then, um, yeah, rubber seal goes on the back. All right, we're powering her up. She's doing all her self checks. She's right to go. We're gonna use the Splash Drone 4 today for filming in the air as well. So uh, we've got that ready to go. Right, no, so. Two ways that you can uh, activate the release with the Ripton. You can do it through the app, or we can just do it on the controller. So we'll do the controller there, and uh, can you see that there? I'll just hit the release straight through. That's all we need to do. Right, so we just turned the app on, and uh, we can see if we pinpoint our position. There we are. There, so pretty handy to um, to have the map. We found it's very very accurate. You can see the little red picture of the drone there with the arrow um, that's the way that it is facing at the moment directly out to the beach it's handy to watch that arrow when you're flying um, so you get a sense of direction uh, it comes in quite handy if you don't want to use return to home so uh, you can zoom in and out of the map there's no dramas there so uh, where uh, there's a good old sea spray and we're just up the road so you can see already it's saved a home spot there on the top of my screen you can see there's 22 satellites which is pretty pretty good for a drone Open release switch, slide to open. I can uh, select that waypoint. And that's what I've done. And then we can basically, if we catch fish there, we can fly to that exact waypoint every time. And then we've got return to home immediately, slide to return, so I'll do that. Okay, so you can see it's swinging around on the app and here it comes back. I'll switch back to the camera again so you can see it. Jacob's on.